Somebody's been busy this morning. Yeah, I made me a little outside uh, hearth because we are going to do some uh, pioneer cooking today. Nice. So I've got the fire pit here. Mm -hmm. I can burn wood, charcoal underneath there. Mm -hmm. I have, I can pull the coals out in here to sit um, my uh, Dutch oven on. And I can also put the Dutch oven up here. And what's either, that for? This is for when I take the lid off the Dutch oven. I can set it up here on this. Uh huh. Or if uh, I want to do some baking and I don't want it so close to the fire, mm -hmm. I can pull the coals, pull some coals up on this, put the Dutch oven on that, and then put the coals on top of the Dutch oven. Nice. So. Well, and this will be a nice way to get the um, to get the ash from whatever you burn onto the banana plants over here too, because the yep. bananas like that too. And I built this all except for this. We did pick this up at Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's just, just a camping. Yeah, yeah, just a little camping thing for just a little camping fire thing. Pit. Yeah. And yeah. then we found this in our pole barn, um, some fire fireplace stuff, which will be perfect for this setup, huh? Yeah, because I can move logs with this. Mm -hmm. I can use this to rake the coals over. Yep. I think you're all set. The only to thing this is missing is the shovel. I'd like to have a shovel to pick the coals up mm. to put on the thing. But I have this big old spatula that I never use that's for... Uh, for the grill yeah that will be perfect for picking up coals nice all right so let's move that it. rake that's behind you so that doesn't so i don't step on it yeah we don't need any more injuries <laughs> we've had enough injuries the last two weeks <laughs> all right so we will get back with you guys as the cook master does his thing today. Yeah, I, I wish I would have weed eat it before I started all this. <laughs> That's okay. We can weed eat later. All right, guys. It has been a while since I did any kind of cooking videos. So we're going to uh, start with the bread. And we're making a two-hour, no-need, fast um, bread. That you don't have to knead it's real quick to do you don't have to let it sit in a refrigerator overnight for like 12 to 24 hours i like some of these no knead breads um i'm trying this is the first time i'm doing this so i'm taking a chance on it here and see how it comes out um also with this we are going to be doing a chicken and barley stew a a how do I, if I pronounce this correctly, a Flars oak and potato cake and a rustic honey cake. Um, and we're going to do all this outside on the uh, outdoor cooking hearth. So this, this is going to be interesting. I just put that thing together. You saw earlier uh, the finished product and uh, we're going to be trying it out today. So, we're going to start with the bread first, the no-knead bread. There's only four ingredients. We have three cups of flour. You can see it right there. Um, it is two teaspoons or seven grams of the packaged yeast. One teaspoon of salt. And 130 degree warm water and it's uh, a cup and a half. So we're gonna start with the flour, put it in our bowl, our yeast right into the bowl and salt. And I am going to just 
whisk that together a little bit. Mix it all in real good. All right. And then add the uh, warm water. All right, I'm gonna start off with a spoon. Now this is supposed to be a sticky dough. I think it's supposed to be a little more sticky than that. So I'm gonna get just a little bit more warm water. I'll be right back. I just added just a tad bit more. I may uh, not quite have an, had it filled up to uh, a cup and a half. That's a lot better. That's what it's supposed to be like. And we're just going to get that mixed together good with our hands. Nice and sticky. All right, now we're going to cover this and let it sit for an hour. And while it's sitting, I'm going to get the fire going. And also, uh, I'll uh, get the Dutch oven warming up. All right, guys, our dough has doubled in size. So we're gonna just knock it down a little bit. And you wanna get a nice flat surface, put a little couple tablespoons of flour on here. And a cutter would work better. I don't know what I did with my cutter. So I'm using this, put a little flour on it. You wanna get it into a nice ball I'm not doing very good with the cutter <laughs> so I'll just do it like I regularly normally do artisan bread you're not really trying to knead it you're just trying to stretch it into like a ball the potatoes are about to okay. overflow there, honey. <laughs> and I'm cheating. We're doing potato cakes. Uh-huh. And instead of doing it out on the fire, I got it just going on the stove just because it's easier with all this. Yeah. But you can easily do that out on the stove. All right. All right this, this, is your... is, this is one of my Dutch ovens. I'm going to use this one for the stew, but we need to put this into this parchment paper into the center and I'm going to bring it outside and put it by the fire for about 15 minutes mm -hmm. so that it'll raise again. Nice. It's not going on the fire, it's just going out there. And then I will pick this whole thing up, the paper and all, and I will transfer that right into the Dutch oven that will have the coals on top and all that and it'll all be cooking outside. So let's go outside with this. All right, so we got a bread out here. This is just going to, you know, kind of warm up, rest for about 15 minutes. It'll get... So, so I'm going to move this right now. It's been out here preheating. Now I'm gonna pull some coals, some of these coals here. And the Dutch oven is going to sit right on that. And we'll Alrighty. 
So that's going to be preheating that up a little bit more. And uh, we'll give this dough about 15 minutes to start rising again. And uh, then we'll be putting the bread in. All right. We are about to put the bread in the Dutch oven. How nice and hot that is. All right, let's see how this is turning out. That looks pretty good. It's raised up nice. And I'll hold it. I'll hold it right here. So, trying to get this. Put it right in here. We'll put the lid on it. And oh, that looks sweet. Show them cold round copper. Yeah. <laughs> this everybody. This is my uncle Wayne. Say hi. Now, how long are you gonna let that stay in there? For about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? All right, so we'll start a timer, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, Cooper saw Uncle Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Through the Cooper window. Cooper loves Uncle Wayne. Cooper loves Uncle Wayne. And I'll put some more fire in here. All righty. So 30 minutes of starting now. A little overdone. It's just a little crusty on top. Once you take, put some butter on it. Oh yeah. Good to go. Yeah. That looks pretty good, don't it? Yes, it does. All right, so let's take care of business. Just look at all that goodness. That's a big leftover. Still a little hot. I'll get that in a minute. All right, guys, we are going to be making a rustic honey cake. And it's a pretty um, simple recipe. We're gonna start off with a half a cup of butter, maybe one stick of butter, and one cup of honey. And we're gonna whip this together. And we'll put the recipes for all this stuff in the... Uh, in our description. Yeah. And a spoon. All right. And we're just going to whip this together. Oh, that looks good. Talk about some honey butter, huh? Uh-huh. Ooh, maybe we ought to make some honey butter. Mm, I can. All right. And then we are going to add in a half a cup of uh, plain yogurt. Set that aside. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Oh, what's that? One tablespoon of what? Of vanilla. Ooh, vanilla. Oh, I smell it. Vanilla. It's no good. Okay. And then we're going to take two cups of flour. We got two tablespoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. And we are going to mix this together. Now, are you going to cook this outside on the fire? Yep. Ah, well, you're just all into it today. Yep. Maybe, hopefully, we can get it all done before the rains come today. Let's hope. If yep. not, I may have to finish stuff inside, but 
Well, if we can uh, at least get this done, you know, all we'll have left is what, the stew? Yep. Yep. And well, it's the stew and the potato cakes. Oh, and the potato cakes. All right, we're gonna put about half of this flour in here. You're making a mess, mess. Well, I mess cook mess. you clean. That's that is true in this house. <laughs> Since I cannot cook, if it was to save my life, I'd be like... Put the remaining yeah. flour in here. Wait. Even Cooper's like, what is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells good. Oh, is that a sweet, sweet smell. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. Good? Yeah, it is. Let me take it. Let me. Oh, wow. Not bad, huh? Oh, wow. That's I'll let you hold that for Oh, later. I get to lick the spoon. Well, it's not okay. a spoon. <laughs> now, you can cook this in a cast iron skillet in an oven. I'm gonna put it in this because this will fit right into my uh, Dutch oven out there. So I'm going to cheat. I knew the I know the pioneers did not have Baker's Joy, <laughs> but I do. <laughs> so, and you can always put a little oil and dust it if you don't have this. But let me tell you what this. Yeah, this is going to get us all uh, hopped up on sugar. <laughs> sugar comas? And sugar comas, but it's honey. Still sugar. Mm-hmm. But at least it's natural sugar. True. Yeah, and the sugar, I'll show them the honey we're using. Where you're using the Be Good Honey. It's a local, uh, locally uh, sourced here. This is a uh, wildflower honey that we got. Yeah, we like to get st stuff local when we can. Yeah, farmer's market we try our best to get to. This is going to be... This is another... This is, this is all new recipes for us. Mm -hmm. So we have not tried these recipes yet. The bake, the bread was kind of a somewhat success. Yeah, it's just a little crispy on the top, but that's that can easily be fixed. Oh, you're getting that spoon? Uh-huh. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go get that cast iron Dutch oven preheating again. Okay. And then I'll come back out and get this. So I got to clean up this? Yes. Okay. I'll have to lick it. Clean. <laughs> All right. Here is the cake. Here we go. Right out here. We're going to put it right in here. Put our Dutch oven lid on. Now, how long will this take to cook? It's about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? We're going to check it in like 20. Okay. Actually, why don't we check it like at 15 just to make sure. Since this is a cake, it's not going to be have to be as dense as uh, the bread, you know? Yeah. So 
we'll check it in 15 minutes. All right, let's check this cake out. See how it is doing. Woo, look at that. I gotta say, that is a pretty looking cake. What is it? It's cake. And Almost. It's gotta go just a little bit more. Ah, a little bit longer. Quite there yet. Oh, okay. All right, we're about to start the barley and or chicken and barley stew. So first off, we're going to start off with two to three pounds of chicken, and I've got it cut into chunks. We're going to take a little bit of flour and just sprinkle a little bit of flour on top of it. Not a lot, just enough. And then we're going to What's that? season it with a little salt. I measure it out carefully. Cracked pepper. And everybody knows I love my garlic powder. Generous amount of garlic powder. Now this flour is going to help thicken the stew. And will help brown the I already got my Dutch oven out there on the fire, getting hot, and we're going to go out there, and we're going to add some oil to it, and the garlic, and the chicken, and we'll uh, see you out there in just a little bit. Nice. That cake looks great. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start off with just a little bit of lard. And then I'm going to add a little oil to that too. It's melting fast. Use no. Move this over here just a little bit right now, mm. and we're gonna put our garlic in here. Woo. Wow! Did that brown up fast? Make sure that I'm going to put in some of the stock. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it smells awesome. All right. And we're going to add our bay leaf. Okay. And a little bit of rosemary. Stir that in. And 
we're going to go with potatoes. What's that? Barley. Barley. Six ounces of barley. Now, how long will it take to cook this? This is going to cook for about an hour and a half. Okay. And I'm just going to sprinkle. Carrots. Carrots on top. They're going to cook faster, so I'm just going to leave them on top for right now. Okay. And I'll stir it in later. And That's we'll it. that cook. All right. Cool. I'll come back out and stir it in a little bit. All right. We're going to check the soup. The stew. Or stew. Ooh. That's looking good, honey. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Smells good too. Yeah, it does. This Easy. is what you're feeling it. This is what you call a hearty stew now. She's all lovey on you. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, we're about to start to make the uh, potato farls, and we have three cups of real mashed potatoes. We have two cups of, of rolled oats that have been soaking in warm water for 15 minutes. I drained the water off. Um, two tablespoons of butter that I've melted. And we got a half a teaspoon of cornstarch, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one eighth salt, a pinch of pepper, and a pinch of rosemary. All right, and we're going to start off by adding the butter and the oats to, boy, those oats really swelled up. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Mix that up a little bit here. How was the uh, soup looking? It is looking with stew. Or stew, I'm sorry. But it is looking really good. It is actually looking spectacular. Mm. All right. And we're going to add the rosemary, cornstarch, um, salt, and the herbs. This is to, it's supposed to make like a dough. So tell them you did what now? I sprinkled a little bit of flour in this. Um, just because it was a little wetter than what it was supposed to be. Well, that looks really good. Supposed to make a dough, hmm. but I may not have dried off enough of the oats. Yeah, they might have been a That's little okay. too wet. All right, so now you're playing patty cake. Playing patty cake. <laughs> and you're keeping flour on your hands. Yeah, it makes it easier to make them. All right. Check the stew. Yeah. All right. Ooh, that looks good. I gotta get that, that off. Okay. Well, do you want to take care of that first? Yeah. Are you just gonna put it on the ground for right now? 
Put it over here. Put it right here. Just be careful of the cord. Alright. Oh, it smells good! Don't it? It smells good. Alright. Yeah. Do you need to move the oil? So that way, because you're gonna, you don't want to get splatter. Is there anything in the other Dutch oven? No. All right. So now. It's not. Not holding together? Mm -mm. Use the spatula. How long do you cook them in the oil? Just till they brown. That's it? Yeah. All right, there you have it. We got the stew, the bread, and the potato cakes. And we are ready for dinner. All right, so Donald put blackberries from our blackberry bush, and then we got strawberries from the store on the honey cake. Dessert time. It's dessert time, and this is the honey cake. I put a little extra honey up on top of it when it was still warm, and then I put the fruit on top of that once it cooled down a little bit. And we're going to cut a couple pieces here and see how it comes out. Let me cut two pieces so I can get two pieces. Get in, of the ones. Yeah. We can pile the fruit on top of it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's nice and crumbly. Oh, it looks pretty good. Oh, wow. That does look good. Get us. A fork? Or a fork or something here. I'm going to spill a piece. Mm. Oh, my goodness. That is, that is good. Oh, that is so good. Is that one piece? Try it. Little Two trailer. pieces. What are you complaining? <laughs> that's, that's enough for me. What are you complaining? Really? And you can eat the blackberries? No, I won't eat them. Braid and oil. Oh yeah. Try try a little piece of one though. Oh. Oh, that's good. And that's all honey, no sugar. Well, I mean, we know honey is sugar, but I mean, we didn't wow. add. That is really good. Yep. That's going to be really good whipped cream on it later. Oh, yeah. There we go. We forgot the whipped cream. I just gave you two things of whipped cream. Yep. 